<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today I'm with guess who? Holly. Yay. Can't always get Holly. Me. I know. She might as well just be part of my channel. She's always in the vlogs. But you can follow my channel. Did you know Holly YouTube too? <laughs> Shameless self promo. <laughs> I will leave her link down below. You should go follow her. And um, you know, you'll see from her point of view what we get up to. <laughs> Today we are off to the Esselment, which is a restaurant in Aberdeen for the next two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> so it started on Monday and, and until the 16th. I hope I've got that right. It's Aberdeen Restaurant Week. So once or twice a year, Aberdeen Inspired throw Aberdeen Restaurant Week, which allows local businesses, local eateries, restaurants to put on set list, uh, set menus, <laughs> set lists, <laughs> set menus, tapas, sharing platters, things like that for a discounted price. So you can go experience local, try it out. So you know for next time that you obviously want to go back. Discover new favourites essentially <laughs> and support your local businesses. Usually it's two courses for £10 or three courses for £20 at dinner time and then there's also like various afternoon teas and things like that but you can find all that out on aberdeeninspired.com which has the full list of restaurants that you can go and enjoy. Always best to book because it is a busy two weeks otherwise you probably won't get seats. I'm not going to lie. Especially just now. Yes because of restrictions, <laughs> everything is obviously a lot harder to get bookings right now, so make sure you're booked. But yeah, today we're off to the Esselment. I'm excited, I've never been before. I've never been either, but it I, seems fancy. Yeah, I've been for drinks, <laughs> which was actually at my last Aberdeen inspired social night out, so I know the, I know the drinks are good. <laughs> Not that we can have any. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're gonna take you with us and show you the estimate. Let's go! <laughs> What day are we on? Saturday. Thought I'd give you a little update on the last time I spoke to you. So last time you'll have saw me would have been at the Esselment with Holly. So we had a really, really nice evening. Um, it was so good. It's like a sophisticated but relaxed sort of vibe. If that is your thing, um, it's definitely my thing. The food was really like quite quite fancy to be honest. But there was also like a varied a varied menu that I think anyone could anyone could find something that they liked off the menu. There was burgers, for example, and steaks. So to start with, I went for the chicken satay skewers, they were really good. The spicy peanut sauce with an Asian slaw, drizzled with a little bit of lime um, that just had a nice kick to it and it was really good. Holly went for the haggis bonbons and um, she said they were great. They were very dense, like packed full of the haggis, which sometimes they can be, if you get haggis bonbons, they can be a bit limp maybe. There's maybe too much sort of breadcrumb to haggis ratio. She said these ones were spot on. So yeah, recommend those. I went for the cod. So it was pan seared cod loin. Oh, it was good. I had like, it was on like a bed of like a pea sort of meat. Ricochet, yeah. I think it's called. Oh, perhaps you okay? With gnocchi and salsa verde, so fresh. The ingredients tasted really fresh. The cod just melted in your mouth, essentially. It was so beautiful. It was just a nice fresh dish. It definitely left you feeling full, but it didn't leave you feeling heavy, which was nice. Especially when you go to a restaurant like that. Like, you're dressed nicely. You don't want to sit there bloated. It's not like when you're sitting at McDonald's or something. You kind of expect to be bloated. But Polly went for the concrete duck, which oh, it looked really good as well. Again, she said it just fell apart off the bone, like so tender. And it came with a 
mustard mash I think it was which looked really good she said it was very creamy um, packed with flavor would recommend also um, dessert I had my favorite sticky toffee pudding I literally as soon as the menu was down in front of me I spotted the sticky toffee pudding like that it was just instant um, I love sticky toffee pudding like love 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 it it is definitely one of my top two favourite desserts, that and Minofi pie, but Minofi pie was not on the menu, so it was obviously Sticky Toffee Pudding Day. So I went for that, and it was probably one of the best Sticky Toffee Puddings I've ever had, and that says something, because I've tried a lot. It was so moist, sorry that word offends you, it's just the word, like, toffee, there was a, such a good amount of toffee sauce, like sometimes you don't get enough and your sponge is dry, but this sponge was soaked, just soaked in the toffee sauce was great and then you got a um a scoop of tablet ice cream again really nice um holly went for the creme brulee which was served with a an apricot sorbet and a shortbread the richness and the creaminess of the creme brulee with the tart apricot apricot whatever you want to say sorbet was really good and that, that crisp shortbread so went down a treat we both very much enjoyed it and honestly if you're going to go anywhere this Aberdeen restaurant week that's one place to go or after you know my parents have a voucher to use there and I'm urging them to go and get it booked because Whoa. go and get it booked because it's so it's oh pop it's so so tasty the whole menu is really nice I'll leave it linked down below and I'll also leave my blog post because that is what I've been doing so far today I wrote my blog post on the whole experience so if you want to see a full review head over to kirstyjarvie.com I'll leave it linked below where you can read the whole blog post of my Aberdeen restaurant week experience which I'd love if you did so that took up most of my morning because I was having issues trying to get my pictures uploaded sorry my Puppy is just yawning in the background, aren't you? Yeah. Um, but yeah, highly recommend you get booked for Aberdeen Restaurant Week. I'm not actually sure this video will be up by the time Aberdeen Restaurant Week is still on. I hope so. I've got quite a lot on um, in the next wee while that are sort of deadlines and things that kind of push YouTube out the way a little bit. But hopefully by the end of the week, I will get this up, but we'll see. But you'll have heard about it on my Instagram, my Twitter and things like that. So hopefully if you wanted to get booked in, you were already booked in for it. Yeah, that's Aberdeen Restaurant Week. So I hope you have really enjoyed the week. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's one of my favourite times. Um, it's just it's like a feel good week, support local, all that good stuff. So yeah, um, today I am going to go and walk my doggy who... yawning a lot he's tired i don't know how he's gonna cope in his walk today yeah we're gonna go on a dog walk spend a little bit of time together and then i think it's gonna be a chilled one to be honest i think my dad wants to go to bnq get my kitchen design finalized which i didn't show you the other design which i maybe will eventually but I don't think we're gonna go for it because it's too expensive so i think we're gonna go to bnq um try and finalize the design there and hope maybe even get it ordered because already going to be into January before we can get the kitchen so any longer we'll leave it obviously that is adding on lots and lots of time and we need to get that finalized sorted and ticked off it's a little bit scary I won't lie because it's a lot of money and if I don't get it right I'll be annoyed with myself but it's fine I'll get lots of opinions I'll ask the whole fam I've asked friends so it's it's gonna look good it's gonna look good and it's gonna be fitted well it'll look good other than that i'm gonna probably have some drinks tonight with my family maybe a chinese because we've not had a chinese in forever and um yeah quite excited for it so that's my plans <laughs> nothing too exciting it's a pretty slow one this week i've just been doing lots of reading i finished another book that book that i showed you in last week's vlog um when breath becomes air. It wasn't actually as sad as I thought it was gonna be. More the guy speaking about um, his diagnosis and how he comes to terms with dying, how he goes through like sort of like denial stage and becomes okay with the idea and it's sort of like how is how he copes with it essentially. So it was actually quite a good book. It wasn't my favourite book in the world, honestly, no. But it was okay, it was fine. It was like a 3.5 3 star I would say out of five. It was well written, yeah. 
I've just been just been really enjoying reading recently. I've started my third book, which I started yesterday, which is Fix You. I'm not expecting too much from this book to be honest. It is another like romantic sort of heartbreak novel, I think. It's just the only book in the house that I haven't read yet, so I picked it up uh, while I'm waiting to order some new books and borrow some books from my friend. So hopefully it doesn't bore me too much. But right now it's keeping me it's keeping me amused, it's keeping me fixed to it. I'm not sitting there like, oh my god, is this book ever going to end? Because um, I mean, I'm already like 10 chapters in or something and I only started it last night. So I mean, that says something quite good, I suppose. Sorry, that was a long blabber. I'm going to go walk my doggy now. <laughs> Doesn't care about me. Only cares about his toy. Only cares about his toy, do you? Do you want to get? Oh, head butt. <laughs> Casper, look. What's that? Casper. Casper. What's this? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. You're a big dog, you know. <laughs> Casper. <gasps> Who's that? Look! Is that you? Is that you? You're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, happy Sunday. It is now the end of the day on Sunday, essentially. I haven't picked up my camera because, to be honest, I kind of forgot. I didn't actually think I'd be doing anything today. But I didn't think it'd be worthy to, to vlog, honestly. It ended up being a pretty chill day. I went a few, to a few shops, b and um, things like that, nothing exciting. But I did go to TK Maxx and got a few pieces from my house. So first I picked up this green blanket, which has got this chevron sort of print on it. Castles in like a dark forest green and an off-white sort of color. I really like it. It's a really thick, like feels quite quality as well. Like it doesn't feel like it can rip. A lot of the blankets I have, they rip quite quickly. I don't think this one will. And it was only 20 quid, so you honestly can't complain. 50% cotton and 50% acrylic, 130 centimetres by 170 centimetres. So it's a nice big blanket, which will be great. I think I'm going to drape this one over my sofa once it arrives in March. Brilliant. Love that. And then I picked up this. So this is like a runner and it's made with cotton and it's sort of like, you know, like jute sort of hessian sort of vibes and um, which i thought was really cute and it's in this sort of like undone tasseled print which is very me by a brand called vintage house i think um but from tk maxx and it was 13 pounds 12.99 honestly like i just thought this in my hallway would look really good it's all going to be wooden flooring throughout so i thought that on the floor would be great or you know, just bringing a little bit of something and the texture to the area. So I love that. And finally, I picked up this. So I am, um, well, you can tell from the green blanket, I'm going for a sort of green theme throughout my house. And um, I saw this, I thought, you know what? I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I think it's got lots of different uses. So it has a sticky side, I'll show you this side. Um, so yeah, we've got this green box with sort of a rusticy feel box, you know, with the, the brown edging um, and the wooden sort of handle, which I thought was really cool. A bit different, I need to get all these sticky marks off, but um, this was down to eight pounds on sale, inspired by Vietnam. So yeah, I thought this could be good for like tea bags or it'll need a bit of a clean first, but tea bags or cotton buds or anything like that, like makeup bits, you know, just anything I think could fit quite well in here. Because I'm going to have a green theme throughout. It could be bathroom, it could be kitchen, it could be bedrooms. And I thought, yeah, even though I don't know where it's going to go yet, I thought, why not? I like that. Yeah, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you liked my little mini haul. I'll show you more bits as I pick them up. That's actually probably like the first little shop I've done. I've picked up things from 
it was home sense actually prior to this which i think i will show you eventually in its own little video um because there was quite a few bits so yeah i'll probably just do little impromptu hauls like this from now on until i get like big things and then i'll maybe do like a proper sit down video showing you the bits but these were like the first purchases i've made from a house i was kind of putting off doing it because I wanted to get all the furniture and stuff bought yet. Have it? Have I bought all that yet? No, but I couldn't resist when I saw these things in TK Maxx and they were like exactly what I was looking for. So, um, but I am going to call it a day here, guys. Um, that is the end of the week. So that is the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, comment and all that jazz. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.